I just wanted to bring you with me on a walk and talk very briefly about responsible dog ownership and what a responsible dog walk looks like. So firstly, I've got the dog here and we're out in this beautiful wide open space. There's nothing at all that I can see that represents a problem. But what I need to know and what you need to know is that if that's the case, I'm in a rural location or I could be in an urban location, a town that's bordering a rural location. And at this time of year, lambing season, from a dog's point of view, this air is alive with the smell and the sound of newborn lambs or of ewes that are not far off giving birth to lambs. You may not be aware of that, your dog is. You may think I have to be able to see it. Your dog's way beyond being able to see it. So I'd ask you a question. Good girl. If your dog were to suddenly see a squirrel, a rabbit, a fox, another dog, a ball being thrown, something that really, really excited your dog, suddenly go running off towards those bushes there, and your dog's off lead wandering around, and it ran after that thing, whatever it happened to be, can you stop your dog instantly by calling it so that you can bring your dog back to you and put a lead on? Because you may have no idea how your dog will respond when it comes across the sight, the smell or the sound of sheep or newborn lambs or other livestock animals, but I'm sticking with sheep at the moment because of the time of year. You may not have any idea. And by the time you do find out, it's too late. It's too late because your dog has already decided that it finds that very nice and it wants to go. Now, as it happens, as I'm actually speaking, just look over here and there's the point proven, completely out of sight. Now, the reason that this dog isn't bothering to go after those animals and won't bother to go after those animals is because she's been trained to actively avoid them. I'm gonna show you something else that involves responsible dog ownership here. And that's the dog going to the toilet and even though I'm in the middle of a lovely rural location, I'm gonna pick that up because it's a responsible thing to do. And I'll take it home with me because I don't want my dog's waste representing a risk to any other livestock animal, which it can do. It absolutely can do. So very, very simply, we pick that up, bag it, take it home with us. And having seen the animals over there, here. Wait. I shall take my lead, pop it over her head, heel, and walk her in the opposite direction. Because I know for a fact that this dog will want nothing to do with those animals because she's been trained with an electronic collar purposefully to avoid them. She doesn't like them. She thinks they're bad news. But that doesn't mean that she can't still worry them if she's off lead and she runs over towards them. And if those sheep, if those ewes, if their cortisol levels rise and that crosses the barrier in the placenta into the unborn lamb, then that can cause that unborn lamb to uh, abort, to be born too early. She doesn't have to attack them. She doesn't have to kill them in order to inadvertently kill them. So now that I know that and that you know that, there's absolutely no excuse not to act responsibly, pop your dog on a lead and move out of the way of where those animals are. Bring her back off the lead again when you're in a nice clear space. But best of all, beforehand, make absolutely certain that your dog will come back as soon as you call them, whatever the circumstances. Train for that, test that, prove that, but still, still put your dog on a lead when you see that you're in direct proximity to these animals. Now, the law may not say that you have to do that, but a responsible dog owner will do it anyway, because a responsible dog owner will struggle to find a reason why not. Beyond my ego, why not? This dog's trained within an inch of her life to have nothing to do with those, and that's brilliant, and it's completely commendable, and I highly recommend it for anybody who's got a dog where they want to take it in the countryside and they want to make sure that it's safe. But that doesn't mean that we're not also responsible and that we're not also capable of popping a lead on and taking our very well-trained dog in the opposite direction. Heel. Thank you.